Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rook Tech. And I loaded back before the last financial report because I wanted to play that dual duel there. I want to see what my people can do. I'm also okay with my finances here, so that's gonna be great. What we're gonna be doing now is um, I want to go ahead and see if we can actually finish the mission. It's gonna be a big challenge, I gotta say, because it's a two and a half skull dual duel. And I mean, we can get a, a lot of money out of that. How... Ever do we want to pick a heavy mech part? I think we want to, and therefore I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna go with double Stormcrow, I'm gonna go with Strider and Kraken, and I just hope that we don't die. Let's check it out, guys. We have a one and a half of lands value here against two and a half skulls. So these duels, don't get fooled by them. It's only a two and a half skull mission. Yeah, but uh, you only bring two mechs here. And they don't have the firepower of the two and a half skull that they bring. So they bring just massive heavy max. That's what they bring to the table. And we're going to try to kill them today. I mean, wreck them. We are not killing anyone. Not here for the kills. We're here for the wreckage. And we're also here for the salvage. And yes, I want that one part. And the max that we are fighting here are also usually special variants. Which means um, we could really kind of ramp up the power spiral a bit by getting that one combo piece that we want. A good weapon system. A um, good targeting computer, maybe. Good equipment in general, a stealth system whatsoever. We will see about it, and uh, we're gonna try to not die. I'm picking the Stormcrows here, by the way, because I don't really have any other options. And um, also, they are quite fast, so we can usually probably get like three, four evasion all the time. It's probably three evasion. And we also have the accurate, accurate weapons here. So I want to really go nuts on a single target. On it. On it. Oh, yeah. Position confirmed. Well, let's stay in cover as much as possible. Roger. So, I see a Grand Summoner and a Kronos. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. <laughs> hey, Kronos. That's a stray shot for the, from a PPC coming in. And the Grand Summoner has to go right now. It's not protected anymore, right? It has an Ultra yeah, Auto Cannon 20. Yeah, you can see, this is gonna be uh, a bit of a problem. A a yeah, time. it's uh, not cool. cool. Anyway, shoot him! I'll draw the cannon 20, can tear me apart. And will! Obviously, it will. Internal structure damage. So, oh, he's running away, Ready man. Man, 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 you're not allowed to do that, buddy! My goal is to keep shooting the summoner in the face, and I'm gonna go warlord on that. And we're gonna try to shoot the Kronos in the butt. Also, they have incredible initiative. Ooh, no butt shooting allowed, because he is putting his butt to the wall. That makes a lot of sense. Also, I think the summoner has its gun on the right arm, correct? And he is extremely accurate in what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah, it is a proper challenge, as I was saying. Standing by. It's also quite hot. I need to also enable enhanced imaging. A copy. So, Kronos, don't kill me, please. Thank you. That is good. Reporting. He's unsettled. Commander? I can only engage from the side unless I go over here. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Let's see what it brings. Fire! Oh, he's still not dead. Scored a critical hit. And we don't have the initiative. I mean, at the very least, uh, the the Kronos is, is jumping Got around it. a lot. That makes him Order. very inaccurate in general. I'm here. And uh, and things yeah. and, and and stuff and uh, yeah he is in minimum distance uh, which is bad for him. I want to do one thing. I want to do two things actually. First, this. Knock him down. Just a knockdown. All right. Report. 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 The what? What's going on? Okay. Right. There we go. So I don't think it, he is gonna do anything against us this round at all therefore we're gonna use that turn to get into the back of the chronos we got the chronos down so one guy 
knocked the other off the battlefield. Seems good to me. And yeah, Mr. Grand Summoner is also quite overheating. Good, we got this in the bag. We got a bit of damage out of it, but we got it in the bag. Good to go. Fire. We won it! Came with a bit of a repair cost, but I think we didn't lose anything, right? That's cool. Alright, so, I mean, obviously, we can now try to take one of the summoner parts. Or we take the Ultra Auto Cannon 20, or we're gonna see. Kronos is a 55 toner, the Grand Summoner 70. That one part, that is gonna be an enhanced imaging. That's what it's gonna be, yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. Easy enhanced imaging. We had to repair just a little bit. We get a streak as well, fire control system. 100,000 C-Bills out of it, kind of, because of the random salvage that we got. And we are taking one enhanced imaging with us that is gonna be so helpful for the future builds that we are going to do. Especially on our friend, the Mad Dog. And I'm very much looking forward to build that thing. I hope that we can do it in this episode today. So, let's progress a bit. Let's see if we can play maybe one or two missions after what we did here. And I hope that by then we have the, the base repairs done on the scavenger. It very much looks like it. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So, money is fine. We're gonna stay on this planet a little longer. So that's good. But we have to wait for Strider and Kraken to come out of fatigue. I need them on the battlefield. There's kind of no way around it. Okie dokie. Yes, accept, please. Thank you. All right. I clicked the button. There we go. So, uh, Mad Dog always on top of the order because I want that thing. Argo upgrade is complete, which leads me to the hiring hall because I wanted to bring Big Sly in. He's a merchant, is a commander as well, and I mean, why not? He looks cool. Great. Two days. Here we go. And now we are on the battlefield again. So we will dive directly into the next mission. We need to find better gear for our good old friend, the Mad Dog. And we could play Hot Landing. Letter of Mark is a battle for four salvage. I'm just looking at the salvage here. Defeat in detail. Clan Hellhorse. Five salvage assassination? I'll take it. It's only two skull, but that's okay, because... Oh wait, our, our um, uh, what's it called? Vapor Eagle is ready. That is also a thing that I want to build. Ah, but first, who do we take? On the Griffin, we need somebody who is good with gunnery. Might be just... No, 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 it's, 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 uh, what's her name? Glam. Glam is on the Griffin. We have uh, Finn on... The adder, whatever. And then I'll take Munin, I think. Munin or Zed. We have so many tacticians already. <laughs> Let's get Carbon. Alrighty. Yeah, everybody's getting Sensor Lock here, but that's okay because Sensor Lock is really, really, really helpful. I think Warlord is actually falling behind in power a little bit. Now that sensors are so important on the battlefield, um, I think. Having two sensor lock specialists, or maybe even three in your lands of eight max in the end. Let's say four. Let's have one lance with sensor lock specialists. Uh, it's gonna be so helpful. Because you can just um, shave off evasion of, of the enemies. And if you have a bad sensor roll, then you just use sensor lock and you're good to go. That's really good. I mean, why would you have a bad sensor roll with somebody who is trained with sensors, right? I mean, you got tactics nine at that point. But anyway. Point being, I like sensor lock. And I want to dive into the next mission. And we need to think about potential weapon systems to pick up. I am actually thinking about making our Mad Dog a quad ATM-9 boat. And I think we can do it. I think we can sustain that. Plus some energy options, whatever. So, here we are. Where are we exactly? Okay. Shall we deal with the forces directly? Or do we just push? I feel like I just go back and then we go forth again. Coordinates received. That's fine. Acknowledged. Move order received. Hello enemies, where are you? Heading out. There we go. Alright, we found them. I see a blackjack. Coordinates received. 
I see a an enforcer, a pit bull, urban combat vehicle, and a Condor cavalry tank. Okay, double ballistic. He is basically dead. And that's an Omni Blackjack, which is also interesting. Um, hmm. Waiting for orders. I think we're gonna engage here. We're gonna go all in, go. because these guys are just standing there doing nothing. So far. And I think it's a good idea to just go for it now. And I think I'm gonna get the Omni Blackjack out first. Yo! That is some damage! And we have Strider coming in. It's not quite... I wanted to say not quite there, but maybe. That's a pretty long shot. I'll take it anyway. Yeah. Either we hit or we don't with streaks. That's the cool thing about him. Sure. Lerms are coming in as well. Bam. I mean, currently they are guarded. They are not taking all the damage in the world. But it's a bit. It's a start. Let's go. At this point, I also need to think about my ammo consumption on my Stormcrow, because... Oh, a Gauss Enforcer. Um, because the mech is made for medium mech engagements, and it's what not really there, and doesn't have enough ammo for tearing uh -huh. down heavy mechs, also enhanced imaging. I know, I'm the worst. Uh, sure, let's go. We dealt more damage to him than to the Blackjack, possibly. Therefore, I was going for the Enforcer. Pew pew! That was a nice small laser, but I think the blackjack also has a big ballistic there. Alright, and the pit ball is down to a single machine gun. We know that now. Yeah, he was missing his LB20. Ho oh, ho! Okay. That's an AC5, which is also jammed now. Noise. And it's our turn, correct? Yeah. Correct. Cool. On my way. So, Mr. Blackjack, here are some small pulse lasers. He's open! Perfect. Oh. And we bring ATMs. Not from the front, sadly. Hmm. But still, that's gonna be good enough. High explosive for the win. Honestly, I don't respect these enemies. This is why I'm kind of playing it fast, so we can, you know, gather some good material here. Should respect that guy though. The proto gauss is my maybe a little bit of a thing to be concerned of. Alright. Some streaks. Yep, let's go. Here come the crows. Here come the streaks. That is wonderful yes, damage. Commander. I like it. Thank you for this beautiful attack. On the move. Acknowledge. And I'm not even bothering with any kind of sensor lock or so, because I believe we're gonna kill this guy now. We still have the Griffin, which is cool. So let's bring Glam. This time with Enhanced Imaging enabled. I mean, why not? It doesn't cost us anything. And... I don't know if I want to go for Acid here. Maybe I will. Okay, Fluid Gun to the top, 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 top. Flamers, LK ammo. Here we go. Okay, we have his Endosteer destroyed. We got a little bit of heat on him, but he is not destroyed, which means next round we have to be fast in order to kill him before he can shoot again. Because that Gauss might rip apart my adder. And it can headshot, so let's be a bit careful. Just a bit. Standing by. That's exactly the mech I wanted. Alright. Let's tear him apart. Got him. And I think we also got the prototype Gauss on the board still. On it. Okay. Ready for orders. That brings us to Strider with the streaks. And I think we want to we want to kill the Condor first. Marie Condor. Begun. Moving to position. Yeah, there we go. Ultimately, we are here for the big target, for the assassination target, for the wanted mech warrior. Waiting on you, Commander. Wait, you didn't do anything. Are you sure about that, buddy? I read you, Commander. Coming really? Out. Is that how you want to play it? Tell me what to do. Let's go. Let's go. And there's more where that There was a good explosion. Aye, aye. 
And I think we need to follow up from... Yeah, we need to follow up from the side, and that's gonna be a kill. All these small pulses. It's kind of like tiny instances of damage, but we are shooting them so often. Cool. And now, you know what? We're gonna go back. All the way back. Do we need to bother with the enhanced imaging? Or are we good enough to kind of control it now? All the way down there. Let me go ahead and kind of turn it off just to be sure so we can we can you know quick quick click it on my way was that a sensor uh, signal it might have been moving out coordinates received let's figure it out nope it's still the enemy's turn they are here now that's good aye, aye. I think I'm gonna make a sidestep here. I don't wanna really push to the front with the cheetah so that we are kind of staying together to some extent. And I see a champion! Ah, it's an Invictus, the missile champion. Receiving you. I wanna try to get him. Let him come close. Reserving action. Okay, I'm gonna take uh who is it? It's it's Glam, right? Yeah, we need Glam. Hey Glam! How good are you with your weapons, huh? Come on, tell me. Ah, yeah, yeah, enhanced imaging, blah, blah. Let's go. Uh, Inferno. Flamers. Inferno. Bam. Primary I want a 65 ton mech. Give it to me. What, 60? 60 or 65? I cannot remember. It's a lot of heat on the mech. That's a thing. That's definitely a thing. And I have the feeling I also want to kind of stress him out just a little bit by just shooting some sp small pulses on his face. Unsettled. Exactly. Hi. Two streaks. Ah, no stress anymore. That's a bit of a shame. Two ATM threes. Come on. Stressed. Perfect. Standing by. Ooh, can we make him punch out? We will see that in a second. Just a smalls. And another flamer. Okay, I... Mm. No, 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 no. We're gonna wait for Carbon. Because Carbon can easily go in his back. And back strikes are scary. And we only shoot the small pulses. Not even the mediums. Here we go. Just tickle him to death. No stress. Huh. Now, how do I like this now? I think we go for his face. For 20%. Mm -mm. No more stress. Hmm. How do we get him? Gotta go in his back, I believe. Let's check it out. Shooting his center with one streak. Panicked, that's what we wanted, and now Glam is coming in. Yeah, Glam is also a lot of new uh, Neo Heat shenanigans. And we have to engage from his left side, which is here, kind of. Yes, or the front, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's do it like this. Don't need to tell me twice. Try to go for his head, whatever. Fluid is good, not all the flamers. Honestly, also not all of the Infernos. Uh -huh. I was so hoping he would just go. Well then. More stuff to the face. Again, we are just tickling him to death. Come on, you're so critical, buddy. I want that mech. Could have actually gone with enhanced imaging here. Would have helped. Alright. Hey, Finn. Can you hit him? Roger that. Got him! It's a champion! It's the Invictus! It is... Honestly, it's a nice battle mech. <sighs> Do we really want him? Alright, let, let's think about our lands. Our, our composition is... Vapor Eagle, 55 toner. Stormcrow, Stormcrow. Mad Dog. And then we have a fifth. And the fifth... It's currently the Griffin. Which is okay. It's kind of working. Do we want the champion instead? It's a lot of investment to get there. 
a lot of building, you know, a lot of engine swapping and so on. Ah, uh, 60 ton. We would upgrade 20 tons. It's just a natural thing to do. Let's go with it. Let's go with the flow here. So, we see a Gauss rifle. I see an LP-20. This is all in a sphere stuff, right? I'm taking the engine. That's good. The fusion core. For Mr. Champion here. Yeah. I guess that's it. We will also get a good chunk of random salvage on top of that. So... Let's go and build a champion. We get a part of the Omni Blackjack and Enforcer part. AC5 can go. Large lasers. You know what? We're gonna keep them. Machine guns can go. Street can go. Okay. Fuel cell engine. Nice. And we also got the XL. I think I will keep it? I don't know. I, I don't know really. But hey guys. We got a champion and that's already pretty good. That's a great haul for the kind of second mission today. We will play one more. And in the meantime, we're gonna build a champion. Although I think I have... To, man, I have to really stop going for these like low tier heavy mechs. Because I'm looking for 75 tonners. I'm not gonna settle with a 60 tonner. So I might build it, but I think I won't have it for long. Let's check it out. Let's see what state it is in. There we go. Does it also come with an XL? It would have come with an XL if it wasn't destroyed. Okay. Oh. Ooh. That's not good. It has stable weapons, giving us negative recoil. Huh. And then... One ballistic on the side torso. It doesn't have arm actuators, lower arm actuators, which is a bit of a problem when it comes to accuracy. Not that big though. It's just the ability to take the tonnage to the board. That's what I like about it here. Could be a streak boat, could be an... Man, that's so much to build, you know? That's 600,000. I wonder if I was making a mistake here. No, I wasn't making a mistake. I got the good stuff anyway, like the valuable stuff. So, we have that 60 tonner now. What are we doing with it? It's kind of like a... Like an unwanted pet that you kind of found on the streets and you're like, Oh, this is a cute kitty and now you have that cute kitty and, you know, the cute kitty won't go anymore. It just stays all the time. This is a lot of money for a mech that I don't really want. What can we do with it? Let me let me approach it from this side. We have some LRMs on the adder that we could slap on him. Definitely. So this could be our LRM mech easily. And then the Matok is our ATM mech. Yeah, why not? Why the hell not? Team Scott, I'll do it. Oh man, this is so much money. I'm not gonna do it. I need the money for building in, uh, a build on the Mad Dog first. <laughs> it has to have priority, guys. We gotta get our priorities straight. And then there's also the, um, the, the Vapor Eagle. The good old. The Eagle of Vapors. It has a fusion core already. And a heatsink kit. No engine upgrade, though. Hmm. We'll see about that in a second. First of all, I need to get this uh, build on the scavenger straight before we do anything else. So, in order to play it the best way we could, like, as optimal as we could, I would not mess with the Mad Dog right now and instead bring the... What would we do? Again, the Mad Dog needs to be an ATM boat, but our ATMs are currently on a Stormcrow. Maybe the Matok is gonna be our LRM boat instead. Big lasers, big uh, missile launchers. Fun times. Stormcrow is fast enough to get these ATMs to the front line, that's what I mean, you know. And the adder? Who needs an adder if you have a mad dog? Maybe this is how we do it. I honestly like the cheetah. It's a cool thing to have. This our lands. 
Eventually, yes. This will be our lands, ideally. Oh, man. Decisions. Decisions. All right. I'm going to drop the adder here. For the moment, I'm just going to build something on this guy here. Guy. Oh, I also need to upgrade the armor. Think about that, but that's okay. So, 300 XL engine. Lower arm actuators. Heavy pirate lasers. That's fine. Pirate fire control system. I don't need the spiked helmet. I don't need that. What I need is... All the missiles that we can bear. So, let's do it. It's definitely a 20 and two, three fifteens because we can support that. We need a cooling system. Yeah, it's gonna be a clan heatsink kit. That's not enough. Actually, the pirate laser is the problem. Good to know, good to know. And then what? Let me take a look at my fire control systems first. I want... Ideally, I want Artemis, but we don't have Artemis ready. All right. So let's talk about Guardian ECM. I also want an active probe. There we go. We need Endosteel. There we go. And I think we also need Pharaoh. Seems good, guys. Seems very good. Do we have engine heat sinks? We don't have engine heat sinks. Okay, so it's going to be external... External heat sinks like that. And in again, in terms of fire control system... We can take the clan one. Recon sensors seem good. I like it. Okay. We have ECM, we have the probe. We have still 10 tons left over. That's beautiful. I mean, we need ammo. That's a thing. What about the cockpit, though? It's enhanced imaging! Yes! Pretty good. Pretty good. Lots of missiles. Do we have any specialist items? A cool shot. Why not? Honestly, why not? So, 10 tons. Let's talk about ammo real quick. We need a lot of it. So we'll take LK1. Do we need incendiary? I don't know. I'll take follow the leader though, because I want to test something. Yeah, that's going to be great. Regular LRM ammo and another bin. I mean, we have two half bins of LK, but they are eating up all of the slots. Maybe like that. Okay. And then I think I want to add uh, two lasers and uh, we are good to go. Unless we have some support weapons that we want. Light tag. Or a tag in general. We could put the probe into the side and use the tag for our advantage. Or, yet again, just two medium lasers. And we're gonna be happy with that. Laser one, laser two. I mean, we got the cool shot. Could also potentially drop one of these LK half tons, drop a bit of back and front armor, and squeeze in another heat sink, which is probably the better idea. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. There we go, guys. We got a mad dog. Looking strong. Looking good. Takes us 23 days to build, though. Oh well. We had to do it at some point. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We have no gyro upgrades, sadly. Hmm. I'm just looking for anything else that we want to put in here. Um, battle computers. I think if we find more missile and Artemis battle computers, we will pick them up. Because then we can make a battle computer build. With long range and tracking. And then the advanced targeting computer on top of that. And then missile and Artemis. That's the, uh, Those are the combo pieces that we need. But so far, it's looking beautiful, guys. I love it. This here is a mad dog. And it shoots missiles. And I want it. Let's go. So, for the moment, though, our Alpha Lance looks very much like this. And I don't want to wait 23 days because then we will be bankrupt. So we gotta play some more missions. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing now. So... Where do we get good value? In a battle, in the Badlands, in a two and a half scale scenario, sure. Against the Cobra Clan? That's a lot of money. So this is worth 300,000. I'll take all of the... Ah, oh, is it though? Is it worth it? Wait a second. So each priority pick is worth about... 
320,000. That's an interesting choice then. I'll yeah, I'll take the four anyway. We get five hundred thousand out of that. We're gonna we're gonna go slow. It's fine. Let's do it. Third mission of the day. All of a sudden, four mechs are not gonna be enough anymore. I can already see it coming. Yeah, in this position here, we are just in for the kills. We are missing our adder now, so that's a shame. A little bit. Could have also brought the adder back and just built something very quickly. Some some trash build. Because it's an omni mech and omni mechs are very quick to build. They only take like one or two days. And could have done it like this. Just having another mech on the battlefield and giving my people a bit more experience. But I'm okay. I don't want to, you know, waste valuable video time by just messing around with builds that I don't want and that I'm gonna drop anyway. I think we can push through and power through with only four max here. I'm feeling confident today. We'll see. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, playing against clans is always risky because they just might bring something that is super accurate and it just kills you. But I'm pretty happy with the build that we have made on the made happen on the um, on the vulture there. This Maddog is beautiful already. And you know, as soon as we got some Artemis going for us, then we're gonna add Artemis to the deal. Possibly with battle computers. Because Artemis and Enhanced Imaging, they don't go well together because you have to... Um, you have to utilize one of the three slots in the cockpit then. And um, Artemis takes two slots and Enhanced Imaging also takes two slots. So they are kind of conflicting each other in terms of slottage. It's not possible. Unless, again, you have a battle computer, a targeting computer, the green one, that allows you to take Artemis as a battle computer upgrade. And then, all of a sudden, enhanced imaging plus that is going to be so wonderful. And therefore, follow the leader. This is what I wanted to say earlier. Uh, I wanted to follow the leader for the chance of headshotting people. Because follow the leader works like that. First missile hits something, all of the missiles will hit. Confirmed. And I think it's even the same location. They got allies, and some budgers, and artillery, and, you know, stuff. Okay. Moving Since they bring artillery to the table, I'm gonna split up a bit. But again, I'm confident. Wait a second. Are you saying that I have perfect hit chance? On the... wait, on the badger? On it. I wanted the artillery vehicle. Hi, Prowler. So, let's try to get the Thor down. Also, vehicle, vehicle, mech, an APC. I mean, is the Badger really a thing that we should try to kill now? I'm thinking about getting this guy down. I don't like artillery, so... Be gone! That is a start. Scored a critical hit. Great. Yeah, we have some more people on the left side, but it seems like they only bring two lances to the table, yeah. And most of them are vehicles. Ah, and they got some thermobolts as well. I'm showing minor damage. Fine. I hear ya. Alright, I... Ugh. What I? I wanna move for three. I can only move for two evasion, and I'm gonna engage from the front, cause there's the crew compartment. And we want to crit it, and we critted it, and now he's down. Good to go. And that enables us to move um, also over here. Let's use enhanced imaging. Yeah, come on. So we're gonna uh, move over here. Uh huh. Hello. Uh, fluid acid to the front, and then we're just gonna kill that thing. Wait, where's my fluid? There we go. Man, if only we had something like an auto sorter or something that is uh, persistent. Pod, rockets, fire. Just a critical engine. When I shoot you, you'll take it and I've got multiple weapons with no ammo. All right, that should oh, be it. Yeah. The streaks will kill him now. There we go. So two enemies off the board already. Oh, that's good. Okie dokie. I just wonder what else they bring. The Aris fire support tank? Is that the one with the thermobolts? 
Something was shooting big rockets at us. But yeah, the problem is that they have just way more vehicles and mechs combined than we have. So we gotta kill one or maybe even two enemies every single round in order to quickly get ahead of their power level. Turn 15. A Balak attack helicopter, good to know. The wheeled APC was anti-infantry, so I believe he's bringing a lot of AP Gauss rifles with it, which are scary enough. Swarm missiles. We'll take out this mech quickly. Mm -hmm. So far so good. Uh, these might have been uh, mines. Yeah, none of these missiles actually hit. So I believe they are still lying on the ground there. I'm being flanked. Yeah, but we also have to deal with the Prowler. Good to know. Damage is mine. So, give me my initiative. Yeah, we're gonna move here, and we're gonna shoot him in the bot. That's a lot of armor. Crazy. The thing is that Kraken is right behind him, and we have everything that we need, which is just a barrage of ATMs. And here we go. One guy down. So let me see if I can get a secondary kill here in this round. That would be amazing. War missiles. Yeah, our repair costs will be a little bit higher than usual. Yeah, Problem is, I don't see anybody. I need vision. So we wait. Ow, ow. Thermobaric explosion. That's a problem. It was coming from this area, right? Like up here? Two max. Might be an Apollo, I think. I, th I think it would fit the difficulty here. And the uh, Thunderbolt theme. Alright. That was a helicopter. Nothing too crazy. Just a Balak, I think. Or whatever that is. Ripper. Warrior. Parrot, even. Could be everything. Ooh. That's a barrage incoming. And still, I don't know what it is. What happens if I move my Stormcrow? Will I get destroyed and my legs are, you know, blown away? Ah, I see machine guns. Not AP Gauss rifles, just a lot of machine guns. Waiting for orders. That's a decent hit chance. I'll take it. Yeah, why not? Let's go. We have to kill him eventually. And if we shoot Infernos, we even deal more damage. And I think I want to use Phantom Mech here. I should have used it earlier. I need to I need to learn Phantom Mech. I need to use it before I move. Only then I will benefit from the evasion. I just don't get it as a flat bonus on top of it after I move. It's almost a kill. Uh, Commander? You know what? Stormcrow seems fine. Let's Double take down point. some helicopters with streaks. Uh, yellow. Oh, it's a yellow jacket. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta take that guy down. Yeah, he was bringing down the arrow. Yellow jackets are scary. Waiting for orders. Looking out. So here we go. Uh, sure. Let's go. This heat is not the real heat. Not at all. Reporting critical hit. Hey, we got him. See, we are fine in terms of heat. Ready for orders. Uh, okay, so ATMs, you will you will just move Position and you will shoot confirmed. some ATMs against the yellow jacket, I think. Aris, no. Eagle, no. Eagle. This was the yellow jacket, right? I cannot tell. No idea. That's a warhound. What is a warhound? That hurts. A little bit. Actually, it tickles, but it produces heat. What's up, boss? Okay. How cocky are we gonna go? 
Yeah, I was the yellow jacket. 22% uh, is real bad, though. Um, but yeah, we have to take him down anyway, because he's also bringing some electronic warfare stuff that I cannot leave on the board. He's panicked, and that was our last turn this round. So we didn't get a kill. Oh no, wait, we have Glam in turn 13 still. And, and we got a kill on the APC, so never mind. You know, we're getting a little bit forward, and this guy is actually standing in the barrage that is coming down. Oh, I see. This guy is actually scary. I think these were rockets here, therefore missiles are gone. Interesting. Well, Stormcrow is in a very exposed position there. Maybe we should really take him uh, and bring him to safety. And yeah, we have to kind of try to kill the yellow jacket at this point. We gotta go in with our griffin. Uh, no matter the cost, we... I, I don't want this missile to fire anymore, so therefore... Let's try to take him out. So, the question is, what's the Balak gonna do? Because it's his turn now. He's also kind of stealth, he has some ECM going on. Which is really annoying. And therefore, I want these helicopters off the board. It's a backstrike, right? It is, but he only shot his large laser. Waiting on you, Commander. Ten percent hit chance. That is not good. But anyway, Head I'll do it. Battle. Oh, actually, we get the Phantom Max stuff now. Look at that. Look at all the evasion here. So that's good. So, how lucky do we feel? Do we gamble, or do we just shoot the Vulcan because we can actually hit that guy? I think I'm feeling lucky. Let's go. We were lucky. Cool. So, he's down. And that actually inspired us that the Vulcan got hit. It's so good. Commander. So, so good. So, so good. Alrighty. So, our little guy here is trying to hit the guy in the mineral field. Or maybe not, because... We have not a good hit chance. That's okay. The Aris is also very squishy. As much as I could hope for, really. Okay. If we get the Balak out, we are fine in terms of hit chance again. Down he goes. So, no ECM on the enemy side. Enemy vehicle eliminated. See, I don't really like to play with the electronic warfare. I don't really like um, getting hit. Uh, I don't really like this whole, I'm gonna counter ECM you now, and then it takes the round until it actually takes uh, the ECM into account. I'd rather shoot the people, because if you set your ECM That's to counter, fine. you have to wait around until it actually takes effect. And that's the thing I don't like. So, I'd rather shoot the people. Also, what are we doing against the Warhound? I'm thinking about salvage here. Let me try to get it. Waiting for the shot. Honestly, let me try to get it. <laughs> this Vulcan. He's really living up to his name. Bringing all the, like, you know, spitting fire and heat in the sky. Yeah, let's bring the Griffin to the Warhound. Because I want to see what that what thing is, what it can do, and what I can do against him. So here we go. This is a flame turn now. Inferno, Inferno, this is all Inferno. Ah yeah, here we go. Got some heat on the guy. He has a cool and flush though. Ready for orders. Okay. Fair enough. Aye, aye. So. In terms of damage, we can shoot high explosive against the Vulcan. So the Vulcan is just gonna get destroyed. We also destroyed his stealth, which is great. Uh, but yeah, the Vulcan is just gonna get destroyed, no questions asked. Sure, let's go. Um, and then the Warhound, we're gonna try to overheat and kind of salvage. Almost. Oh, what's up, boss? Can we hit him? 33%. I'll take the shot. 
Another stealth destroyed. Hmm. But his stealth is still online. Which is not that great. But anyway, some more Infernos coming on the Warhound. Yeah, this will do. And you know what? We're gonna go back to cover. Receiving you. So the next big thing is gonna be killing that guy. We don't need much. Two or three hits. There we go. So I'm gonna give the Vulcan another turn because the Vulcan only has overheat weapons, really, and the tank could actually hurt us. I mean, it technically hurt us, but it's only 22 damage. You know, that's what I mean. The tank was scarier than the Vulcan right now. And there's the shutdown. And there's the power up. Good job. Standing by. Let's get him out of the way. Side torso destroyed. No missiles anymore. He was running an angel ECM. Interesting. Uh, but we cannot backstab. However, we can... We can front step the Warhound. Like that. Trying to stress him out a bit. Which doesn't do anything. Okay. Heading out. Alright, then we're gonna try to kill the Vulcan instead. We didn't kill. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, Glam. Where are you going, Glam? Here, right? Yeah, shoot him. There we go, he's hot again. Yeah, and then we have this <laughs> this Vulcan who is not gonna do anything anymore. Good. Yeah. Copy that. Right. So now, let's talk about salvage, as I was saying. What is a warhound? Oh uh, wait, it says it's a storm crow. A pirate storm crow. Interesting. Yeah, come Maybe it comes with some interesting options. Um, I want to see the loot. Waiting on you, Commander. I want to see what I can do here, what I can get technically. I read you, Commander. Okay, Moving and out. then um, we're gonna do this again. I wanted to stress him, My is empty. but that didn't stress him at all. So we have to do it in a different way. He's running acid SRMs, by the way. Good to okay. Go. Uh, we have to do it with uh, Kraken. Kraken, Kraken, Kraken. Like this. Exactly. So, if I remember correctly, Kraken has... Oh no, it wasn't Kraken, it was somebody else. I wanted to say he has a pretty good hit chance uh, against heads, but let's see. That's a knockdown, right? And, you know what? It's not a knockdown, but we have a head hit. So this will be a knockdown. Should have, should have maybe just punched him. Okay, so let's see what's coming. A hot guy on the ground with two less health. Standing by. You know what? Let's pepper him a bit with everything we have. Roger. Still, oh wait, he's panicked. I wanted to say he's still not stress, stressed enough. But yeah, we got him. Some pulses to the face. Punch out. No. Commander? Um, let me take glam, please. I hear ya. Dude, I want that. Can I please have it? Last inferno that we have. That's okay. Come on. No, still here. Uh, streak to the face, streak to the leg. I don't know. Ooh, that went directly to the center torso. Scored a critical. Uh, uh. No. Ready for orders. All right, just the small lasers. To the face. He's down to one. We have his. Uh, <laughs> we have his next hit though. I do believe that we're gonna destroy that thing now completely. 
standing by. Yeah, let's take the glam once more. I want to see if I can uh, flame his kind of leg. Anything that is hittable. So, side torso. Just a flamer. Two of them. Roger that. Firing on ah, you hit the center. No. <laughs> Why would you? All right, we tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Yeah. Let's see what we get anyway. There might be some pretty good salvage on the board. I'm still looking for weapon systems. If I can get a good chunk of AP Gauss Rifles, then I'd be very happy because that's what I want to put on my Vapor Eagle. I think it has five or four Ballistic Hound points. But yeah, that was the Warhound, 55 ton, probably omni Mac. Got some ER Larges here, ER Medium, ER Small, Light PPCs, Light Machine Guns. That's two 15s LRMs. They are better than a 20 because they are more efficient in their weight and um, ammo consumption. I take one. So we have a 15, a double 15, uh, no, quad 15, Mad Dog. MML 15 risk is debatable. We can think about it. Because we can use Inferno ammo on them. SRM Inferno, Streak MRM 30. Wow, Barrage Tag, a Vehicle Flamer. Hmm. It's just half a ton for a good chunk of heat. It's pretty good. I think I'm gonna also take the Thumper. Because it's worth a lot. Armored Cowl. Eh, no. Beagle. Hey, it's a bunch of fusion cores. There are also a bunch of XL engines and Clan Artemis. Still, takes two slots. It's not doable. I think I'll not take it, right? I think I will not take it. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm not doing it. Looking at ammo. That's fine. I'm so happy that I destroyed the Thumper earlier. That was so important. Because he was also running Inferno ammo. Um, I mean, it's a tracker sensor, right? So, this tracker sensor is... <laughs> it's actually pretty good for the LRM boat. I'll take the tracker. Why not? XL engine for the money. It's the same as the Thumper. It's the same as the Thumper. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing it like that. The LRM-15 is gonna find its way into my Mad Dog, the tracker sensor as well, and then we're gonna sell the rest. What do we get? Small laser is good. We're gonna keep the light machine guns as well. Chem lasers. I think I wanna keep some chem lasers around. We get an MML and a Streak 30. Bunch of fusion cores as well. Double XL. Noise. And then we even got Artemis ammo. Okay, guys. That here is good. It wasn't that valuable. I mean, the, the Seabill value was just 70, 7 million Seabills. We had like 30 already. Uh, however, these items are going to be very good combo pieces that help us deal more damage and be more efficient so we can punch higher in our tonnage section. So that is going to be really cool. But anyway, guys, today's episode of Rogue Take is over. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.